So I found something deep. So here we go. Shout out to uh, Elliot for this uh, interview. My uncle always told me something early in my life, which stuck with me, which is that while you're on the journey, you have to disconnect from the end goal. You know, because if you're just focused on some end goal, then you're, you might get there, but it'll be hard to progress past that because you're so focused on that one destination that it's like, you know, you, you, you maybe forget everything in between and maybe you could have done more in between. Just be, he always told me like, just be here right now, live right now and do the in best the you can right now. Don't worry about what that end goal is. It's great to have goals, it's great to have dreams, but it's just like you get too attached to it and sometimes it could be a self-destructive thing. So, I love this one because it makes me feel normal, okay? Let me break this down. I'm one of those people that suck at, hey, give us your fourth quarter goals. Give us your year goals. Give us your five-year, ten-year. I suck at that because I don't believe in putting a dollar amount or uh, like a limit to what I can do. Right. I always go based off like the environment or the vibe that I want, but not necessarily a hardcore like, OK, I want to make uh, 200 K with this project. And I want to do uh, buy this car and I want to do this and I want to do that, because then when I do it. I believe in celebrating those really big wins and then I may have to lay off the gas real quick and I never want to get into that phase, right? I'm always like a big dreamer. Uh, my mom uh, makes fun of me because I'll be looking at the 30 to $50 million houses and she's like, you're not a Jay-Z or Beyonce and Kylie Jenner type. Like, you can't do that. And I'm like, yeah, the, the one to 12 million uh, dollar houses, that's just not, that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it for me. <laughs> but we can start looking at over here because not only does it have the uh, the closet while I'm in the pool and everything in the balcony, all that. But then down over there has a whole entertainment vibe. Like, I just don't want to put limits to what I like to do. And I don't want to get so caught up in trying to make that particular goal because then I don't have a vision for what comes next. That's just me. So it made me feel super like normal. And the fact that he says that I can connect with it and feel like, you know what? You're on the right track, buddy. You, mm. you kind of not doing that bad because you Drake did this it. Thing figured out after all. Yeah. You know, yeah. I try, I try. What'd you think about it, Moose? Yeah, it, it's dope, man. I, I'm, I'm reminded of two things, right? Number one, I heard E say this, and he always said, be where your feet are. Mm -hmm. That's one of the most critical things that I heard him say, right? Because whether you are a big visionary person or you are someone who really wants security, oftentimes you speed ahead because you want to control your environment or predict what you're going to create. Mm -hmm. When you tell yourself to be where your feet are, it helps you to focus on the very thing that's going to help you to either make the vision or reality or make sure you continue to maintain that security that you're desiring. So usually we have to do the polar opposite of what we need or are focused on to make that thing happen when we're talking about our future. Right, because you can be a daydreamer and just imagining and thinking about your goals and creating this beautiful world. But if you don't give yourself an opportunity to begin to do the things that you need to do to slowly but surely progress toward that, you're shooting yourself in the foot. And same thing, if security and you wanna make sure that your bills are going to be covered and your family's going to be safe and you're gonna have a retirement and all this stuff, you know, 20, 40, 30, 50 years down the line, then again, you can't just sit there and worry Mm -hmm. You have to allow yourself to clear your head so you can think strategically and begin to do the things on a day-to-day -day basis that will allow you to achieve that. So number one, be where your feet are. The second thing, and I love this, where he talks about don't focus on the goal. This is something that I had to, that I've experienced on my own was don't dream from where you are, mm. right? 
because I noticed that when you're when you're dreaming and you're someone and, and I'm I'll make reference to myself this way because at least that's who I was. When you struggle with confidence, when you're new in an industry, when you're not sure if it's going to pop the way you think it it, it will, you always shoot yourself short. Like you you don't really dream super big. You just kind of like look for the entry model. You're like, you know what? I know Tesla got the 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 the, the, the super sport model and they got the the cool model. I'll take the cool model. Like if I could just get in on the cool model, I'm at least driving a Tesla. Right. And guess what? And you'll notice, and Nikki, when I, when I was shopping to get things for the apartment, the difference between the regular and the super sport model is so minimal in price. Mm-hmm. But when you're only thinking about just getting through the door, you don't give your opp- yourself the opportunity to get the things that you deserve, that you've worked so hard to get. So... I, it was a huge learn lesson for me, man. Don't dream from where you are. Dream from where you're going to be, right? Mm-hmm. Take into consideration the growth and the progress that you'll make as an individual and calculate your dreams that way. Allow that to be the thing that propels your vision, right? Instead of just looking for the entry ticket, that basic model, the least expensive thing that can get you through the door. Now, again, for some of us, every one of us at some point did that very thing, right? I talked about my hospitality business. When I started that business, I called it the dream supply. Right. That, wasn't, that wasn't a coincidence. That was because I knew I did not want to be in the hospitality business forever, but that was going to be the vessel or the vehicle that got me from where I was to where I want to be. Cliche, but that's something that I did And didn't just talk about. Everyone talks about, oh, this is what you got to do to get from where you are to where you want to be. But I did it, right? I built a company that that embodied that for me. And slowly but surely, you know, with COVID, that's what helped our transition. So, yeah, don't dream from where you are. I don't want to get deep with it, but... After I got deep with it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's I don't want to get deep with it. All right. No, 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 all right, all right. We'll leave don't that for that the, guy. We'll, we'll be, right. leave that for the final thought. 